Hey guys, it's Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Right now, we're recording the last of this series. Finally, it's done. And um, for whatever reason, it just takes so long. I, feel, I, I thought I was going to do one a day and just get it over with, but nope. It took until the next week, literally. Anyways, this one is the unexpected moment. And um, it is the bigger gauge one. But anyway, let's, let's get started. Okay, so this is the bigger gauge. I believe this is the 6x54 as well. And um, it smells actually pretty good. It smells actually pretty good. A lot lighter than that, passion. Or oh, actually, not the tradition. A lot lighter than that tradition in terms of the weird smell, but this one smells good. I'm looking forward to that. And of course, no cutter. So, but I'll, I'll go get it in a second when you guys can't see me. But here's the box for it. It's blue. And I just want to read you the, the quote as usual inside what this one says. This one says, blended with highly aromatic tobacco grown on a unique Dominican finca. F-I-N-C-A. I'm not sure what that means. Anyway, so again, no information on what that is, so can only say that's Dominican. And because I don't have a cutter here, as usual, I'm just gonna open another cutter up to, to cut. I mean, I have this like light V cutter here that has no brand, but you know, it will have to do so I don't off the screen, you know? That totally destroyed it. See, this is the thing. Don't use light. Now, this came from one of those cigar boxes that the non fleet thing in. This is trash. Go to the trash right there. So, yeah, I will cut here and uh, magically I will just have a cigar cutter on hand. Like that. And there is a cigar cutter. Anyway, so we'll use uh, the vertigo. Hopefully, this one doesn't destroy the top. So that one destroyed the top, like completely. Uh, just want to make sure the cap is within the cap. Here we go, cut it off. Good draw. And let's get started on this. So, unexpected moment. What is the unexpected moment? Like, surprises, I guess? Like, if you don't want to call it surprises, you call it unexpected moment. Um, as usual, leave your unexpected moment story down in the comment below so you can share that the story um, very good so what is your unexpected moment for for me right i come to plan ahead a lot i, I like to plan ahead i like to think about what i'm about to do what i'm gonna do what i'm gonna uh, 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 react to things. I always have plan A, B, C, and just in case have D, E, F as well. Uh, that's the way I live my life with. So uh, usually I don't have this unexpected moment unless it's like someone tried to pull a surprise on me, somebody tried to uh, uh, convey something new to me, uh, or, or end up doing something that I totally didn't expect. For example, uh, Uh, doing the Shadow Smokers Legion was unexpected. I, I wasn't thinking to do that, uh, but the converse, conversation went that way. So it slowly developed from Soy Sauce Assassin to, uh, to to Shadow Smokers Legion, and you know the, the, there were there were quite a few unexpected things because originally, uh, you know, it was Asian Don't Sleep. And this need a little bit more light. On the corner. And because of someone mess around in the group uh, in Cigars Daily Nation, we came about this soy sauce assassin thing. Now, like at that point, that moment, it was unexpected. It was like, 
Okay, fine. I'll do that. That doesn't sound too bad. Why not? But you know, let's do it. So that was unexpected, and that evolved into let's do a chat uh, like from a, a chapter channel became a review for Soy Sauce Assassin, and then we have the Shadow Smokes Legion. That was the whole thing, just went from like a tiny spark to a big fire, and um, and, and and but it all started that moment. That somebody mentioned soy sauce and sass. so i guess that was my one of my like most unexpected moments like wait tony are you gonna do this uh, i don't know like what am i supposed to do like i'm having fun so why not let's go with it anyway initial thought on this cedary a little bit of spice all right uh, there is uh i would say the, like chili pepper spice a little bit it lingers, it tingles. Woodsy and a little bit earthiness to it too. But it was kind of like tobacco. You know, it's not like... Um, not like when you pick up a Nicaraguan cigar. You puff on it, right away you get the pepper and then you get the coffee and the cocoa lingering. This one is just woodsy and then peppery. And then the pepper lingers, right? Uh, more like chili pepper lingers. And I think there's some oak in there too, just some woodsiness that that's you know, I cannot pinpoint the wood that's in there, but there's multiple woodsiness to it. That when you smell it, it's like oh, that smells some kind of wood. And from that woodsiness, there is a little bit um, char, muddiness, uh, uh, almost like a bitterness, but it's not really a bitter, it's not a bad bitter, it's just like when it first lit up, obviously it's got a little bit burn on the side. I think that will go away. Wash that off again. So let that cool down a little bit because I can see the amber still burning hot. So let's just go down again. So I know a lot of people is gonna buy this and then buy it and sit uh, and all four of them and just try them. So far, I think the celebration probably is my favorite out of the four because it was so easy to smoke. It's light, it's beginner's cigar, yes, but like it doesn't uh, it doesn't give me that the part that I don't want. Right? It didn't give me a lot of part that I want, but it didn't give me a, it didn't give me the part that I don't want. So it's not it's not always like black and white, you know. Uh, Sometimes when it comes to cigar, the cigar can have a lot of good taste to it, but it also have a lot of things I don't want. That in turn is a negative to me. I would rather have less of what I want, but nothing I don't want, than have a lot of stuff that I want, but a lot of other stuff I don't want, you know. So this is why I don't want to do like box subscriptions because I don't want the things that I don't want right it's actually more of a waste for me to have things that I don't want than have not a lot of things that I want because out of not a lot of things I want actually makes more sense to me because I can always get more but having a lot of things that I want but have something I don't want is I cannot get rid of the things that I don't want Think of it as having a bowl of your favorite food, entire bowl of your favorite food, okay? And they dip a smudge of poop on it. Would you still want to eat that? You can't get rid of it, it's in there. You don't know how much it touched, but somebody just wiped poop on it. A lot of things you want, but one little bit of things you don't want. Now I'm for the same food they ask you again. Hey, I can give you half this bowl, but I won't put poop in it. Which one would you rather have? You obviously want the one that has less, but no stuff you don't want in it, right? That's my concept. I rather have less than having things I don't want. And you know, box subscription is one of those. Like I keep getting things I don't want to get one thing I might want. So I'd rather just buy whatever I want and not having to deal with the things I don't want.
so yeah I, I guess that 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 you know kind of explains to you guys why I don't like box subscriptions why I don't like um, uh, buying certain things because there's any elements of things that I don't want and there's a way to avoid it I go with the way to avoid that I, I go with whichever way is it gives me what I want only, but nothing I don't want. Because anything I don't want is I don't I can't remove it. Anything I want, I could. So for that good example, uh, another example is the Viaje Hamaki. It's the same cigar. It's just the decoration is different. Why do you have to be so anal about it, Tony? Well, that's the package I don't want. The cigar is something I want. Package is something I don't want. I'll get rid of it. I don't need it. I don't want things I don't want. I'd rather have I rather not have the thing I want than having the thing I want with the things I don't want. I guess that's Well oh, that's a tongue, tongue twister. Anyways, I'm gonna smoke this in to the first third and I'll let you guys know how that is. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it'll be bad. So far, just woodsy and spicy. We'll see. Okay, so halfway through it got better. It got better. So the minerality part of it, the soil ground part of it is gone. Pepper died down a little bit. So it's not like almost not noticeable. Almost not noticeable. Uh, it got sweeter. It's still woodsy. And it has this fried food kind of aftertaste. I don't know how to describe it. Like when you eat something fried, like flour fried. Uh, aroma is in here. I don't know why that thing tastes like it. I, I, it's not like I don't eat fried food or anything. Just all of a sudden tastes like fried food. So it's got that to it. It is definitely a medium cigar. This is medium, almost medium plus. All right, it's a medium cigar. Smoke output is great. This thing outputs easily a lot of smoke. This one puff, full mouth of smoke. All right, so a lot of smoke. Burn is pretty good, but the ash doesn't like to stay. Ash just keep falling off. So it's not saying that it's not a good construction. It burns straight, uh, but the but the strength there, strength there. So if you like a stronger body cigar and you like woodsy, you like a little bit of pepper in the beginning, this is actually not bad of a cigar. But is it? It is a thirteen dollar cigar. In, in terms of a thirteen dollar cigar, this thing doesn't change all that much. It's just like one flavor mellow down, the other flavor kind of strengthen a little bit. I wouldn't say this is anything special for a thirteen dollar cigar. Uh, burn time not too bad, but I don't see anything special about this. And like in terms of uh, everything else about it, I mean, I mean, it, it has the aroma, it has the build, it has the the smoke, it has the the presentation just not too special for me. not too special I mean this a few of the like early entry 10 to 15 dollar cigar that might give you more enjoyment for this so I didn't feel like it's not a bad cigar I didn't feel like it's one something I like it's definitely something that uh, I wouldn't say I don't like right I just don't like it as much as much so yeah I'll we'll continue to finish up this cigar and I'll give you my final thought in a few minutes. Last a little bit. The flavor mellowed down, all right? The flavor mellowed down, but the strength is there. Like the strength is definitely there. It, it builds up. It builds up the strength for sure, especially last a little bit. So it became a rather normal cigar. I, I will only call this average, average. Like a little bit enhanced version of a typical uh, 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 Dominican cigar. So it's not like, wow. But it's more like, ah, it's not bad. But would I prefer this versus something that I smoke all the time? I'll probably choose something that I smoke usually uh, rather than this one. It's experience, you smoke it. Uh, not everybody's gonna like it. I mean, if you buy this thing, you probably do it to collect all four anyway. So it's not that particularly special. For the price range, I would recommend to pretty much buy two of each just to kind of try it out and all that stuff. But I wouldn't recommend you buy an entire box of this because of the the experience that I'm experiencing is not too special. 
a lot of strength. I would rather have something that's more to, uh, you know, towards my palate and then enjoy that more rather than having this one, which is not bad, not a lot of what I like, but for that kind of price, I think you'll enjoy much more of some other cigar. Like, I think some of the cigar you can enjoy at $8 range cigar will probably be more enjoyable than this one. This one has more strength, so if you like more strength cigars, you might like it. But I just feel like it left more to desire. It's not a bad cigar, it just left more to desire. You probably want something more flavorful to to have after this one. Okay, so I feel like I need another uh, more flavorful cigar after this one to kind of balance out what I tasted and what I, my enjoyment of the time is, all right? So this one, average at best, average. It's not as bad as the tradition. All of the four, tradition was the worst, okay? Not as bad. So yeah, get one of these to try out about $13. I think the, the, the really cool part is that you can collect these boxes. They're also releasing the East and West collections. And you know, if I can get my hands on it, I would. I will find out. Uh, but yeah, nothing too special about this. So that, you know, that goes. There is build quality, but the ash literally just falls off every time it's about this much. Right? This much, it just falls off. This much, falls off. it falls off very easily because I can just take off a band, it'll fall off that easily compared to uh, the, the rest of the three actually lasted a little bit before it fall off. So it's not overwhelming, like it's average in everything. Uh, burn quality, burn time, taste, flavor, strength, it's all average at best for me, for me. Nothing too impressive, nothing that I wouldn't like about other than the little pepper kind of lasted long enough. Uh, I probably prefer the black pepper kind of uh, spice versus the chili pepper kind of spice because chili peppers lingers and I don't like that lingerness but it goes away halfway through so it's actually not too 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 bad okay so yeah get one of these to try just for the heck of it why not why not right if this if you need a reason to smoke a cigar there's always a reason to smoke a cigar you can always find one you know today's raining good smoke a cigar make the time pass faster today's sunny good enjoy the, the the day to have a cigar today's monday ah the day sucks have a cigar today's friday the day is great have a cigar there's always a million reasons to have a cigar so you know have one and just give it a try collect the stuff collect the band they look good so that is it for this particular review on this particular cigar average at best average at best okay uh, in terms of everything else, if you'd like to join Shadow Smokes Legion, find Shadow Smoke Legion on Instagram, Facebook, uh, website, and even our Wednesday, Saturday chat rooms uh, on Twitch. And you know, even the comment below, you'll find members to help you out. And also, you can check out the reviews from Martin Amaya. Uh, he did his reviews about a thousand times better than mine, and Bob the Cigar Guy, which is about 10,000 times better than mine. And it feels good to watch their, their, their review it's much more funnier than mine, I guess. Uh, I, I just tell you exactly how I felt about the cigar, smoke it, go through it, and that was it. So, if you like the uh, uh, video, click on the like button. Don't have to subscribe, don't have to subscribe. Just click on the like button, and check out, check back once in a while to see if there's any cigars that you might like uh, to smoke, and maybe get some second opinions. Uh, if you like a, a certain cigar review, leave in the comment below as well. If I see something that I have, I will do a review on it, but usually we do uh, like a monthly thing. So whatever you like, leave in the comment below so I know what you want to see. Okay. Um, anything other than that, be nice, be healthy, be safe, you know, enjoy whatever day today is for you. And, um, you know, I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Be saucy. See you guys next time. Bye.